Welcome to Findependence Journey. In this video, I'll talk about MWell, formerly known as American Well, that has huge growth potential in my opinion. MWell is a telehealth company based in Boston, Massachusetts, and has roughly 700 employees. Telehealth is a rapidly growing industry. According to a market research report published in July 2020, the global telehealth market size was valued at around $60 billion in 2019 and is projected to reach around $560 billion by 2027, showing a compound annual growth rate of 25.2%. It's going to be a huge market. This graph shows the projected growth of telehealth market in North America. And again, we can see the market will be constantly growing. It makes sense that patients like to meet doctors using telehealth services because they don't have to drive to and wait in the office. Also, COVID-19 pandemic sped up the trend as in-person meetings have been discouraged. In this promising telehealth industry, there is a company that has already shown successful growth. That's Teladoc. In 2020, Teladoc's business and stock price performed excellently, and the company will keep growing. However, I think MWell has a higher growth potential because Teladoc has grown a lot already. MWell's market cap is $7.7 .7 billion and its stock price is around $30, whereas Teladoc's market cap is $42.5 billion with its stock price at around $300. I am bullish on both MWell and Teladoc, but a $30 stock is likely to go up much faster than a $300 stock. Furthermore, the company is doing a very good job in satisfying its customers. MWell was ranked number one on telehealth satisfaction by users. In a survey conducted by JD Power in July 2020, MWell received the highest score among telehealth companies including competitors like Doctor on Demand and Teladoc. Another impressive point is the institutional ownership of Amwell. Institutions bought $639 million in Q4 2020, and they bought $495 million and sold only $77 million in Q1 2021. Institutions have more information than individual investors so it's a good sign for a stock when institutions accumulate it. One of the institutions that invested in MWell is Google. In August 2020, Google invested $100 million in MWell in its IPO. With the investment, Google owns about 3% ownership stake in MWell. In return, MWell decided to use Google Cloud in its services. It strengthens my positive opinion on MWell to see Google, such a successful giant company, invest in MWell, and I think the partnership between MWell and Google is beneficial for both companies. The company is not making money yet, but its revenue is growing. With the growing telehealth market and MWell's strength in the market, I expect its earnings will increase too. Analysts are slightly bullish on MWell with approximately the same number of buy and hold opinions. The recommendation rating is 2.6 between buy and hold, and the average analyst price target is 36, higher than the current price of 32.79. Now let's take a look at the chart. The stock has been pretty volatile since its IPO. On January 27th, it hit the new high and now under correction. I bought MWell shares on December 30th at 2768. I plan to hold the stock for a long term, so a little bit of correction is fine for me. The current price is still above my average cost anyway. It seems the stock is finding support around 32 level. I predict that if the support is confirmed in a few days, it will consolidate near 34 level for a while and go back up. This is just my opinion, of course. Anything can happen in the future. If the stock price comes down to near 30, I might buy some additional shares. That is all from me about why I am bullish on ML. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and hit the like button. 
and also check out my other videos that you might be interested in. Thank you for watching.